Okay, my name is Jennifer. Oh, what a sound. Um, I'm a practicing psychologist, clinical psychologist, for the last almost 30 years. And I also graduated from the Soul Centered Living class of 2017. I have taught trauma internationally and nationally. I taught in Sri Lanka after the tsunami. I taught child um, soldiers in West Africa. And I've done work with domestic violence and child abuse and molest in the United States. I'm here tonight, I was on staff at UCSD, I forgot this part, at the medical center as well. I'm here tonight because all of this traveling around the world and all of this practicing that I've done. In May of 2016, I found myself in Bali, Indonesia. I was in the intensive care unit with a traumatic brain injury. I was crossing the street and I got hit by a motorcycle. I had bleeding in my brain on the left and right frontal lobes, subarachnoid space, which is in the middle, and the back occiput area of my brain. So my brain was essentially sitting in blood. I'm using some cheat sheets because my brain gets tricky when my heart rate goes up. So I ask for your indulgence. Um, I was there to write a book on intergenerational healing with my daughter. And um, she's a graduate of USM. She did three years. She's also been a movie producer. She's now a, a recovering movie producer. <laughs> um, my daughter came to me in Bali after the accident. And she began to show me, I was in, in ICU for 10 days. She began to show me the hundreds and hundreds of emails and Facebook posts that were loving, supportive people from USM, the whole community. Um, this continued for 10 days that I was in the hospital, sent to me, sent to her. And then afterwards, I was in Bali by myself for three months to recover before I could fly. And those posts from absolute strangers continued with loving, healing, supportive things to say to me that were so uplifting that they made the difference in my life. Those were sustained for that three months. And then when I came home, or for me a new home, I'm from Charleston, South Carolina most recently, um, when I came to LA, people at USM gave me short-term places to stay in the beginning. And those strangers, again, put their, the mat out for me. In my daughter's three years at USM, what I noticed was her ability to, for herself to have things that she would do in the night, things that she would do early in the morning, rituals and ways that were self-care that I had never witnessed. She went from a hard driving production person to the most caring, loving daughter that anyone could wish for. She was completely devoted to my healing and she was devoted to me and the other people in her community. I did self-care teaching for about 30 years but I realized that that teaching was based in other. It was based in other people. And what I needed for myself, what I needed to understand and to learn, was how do I begin to truly love myself? Now, we hear that a lot, loving yourself. This is a space and this is a place where you learn how to love yourself. You learn the what ifs and the hows and the steps and you practice them every month and all 30 days of those months for almost a year. So that month by month, day by day, you fall deeply and exorably in love with yourself. And you do it in an authentic way. It's not something made up, and it's not something that you need to repeat again and again. It happens in the most organic way possible. You are in the midst of the most loving, authentic space I have ever experienced in my long life of doing psychological education. 
These are teachers that have practiced this skill for 40 years. They are authentic and they have integrity. I'm telling you this because I can only say to you that with the most loving place in my heart, I wish that the whole world could experience this space and the energy that gets created here because it exists nowhere else that I know exactly in the form that it is here. I am now starting my practice here in Los Angeles and I do trauma work. I am also consulting for coaching international projects and I want to play full out. I want to turn this country and this universe around and I ask you, please help me. <laughs> Thank you.